Welcome back to day three. Um, today, me and Phil are at the Warner Brothers Studio tour in Hollywood. Um, this is my second time here. Me and Heidi came last year and it is Phil's first time. So we've got a 10 o'clock tour. So uh, yeah. So yeah, we're all together. I was just telling some stories about Wizarding World and Daniel Radcliffe breaking wands, but we're gonna go by like all of the different concept art of characters, different settings from the movie. It's really neat to see. Dobby was actually CGI emotion capture the movie itself, but they created that specifically for the to get her approval that you know that's what the house of a special. And then a lot of this too is just building model designs for like fluffy, a vacillate, we're still in the forbidden core set in bloody suits. But they just brought that one over because he was too big to fit into the server. That is still one that appeared in production, it's one of the little ones that landed on the flying stars. for best costume design in the Smooth Studio. Academy Award winning costumes all around this year. The main character of this is Newt Scamander, played by Eddie Redman. Place in America. All the filming took place in London for the Smooth Studio. Third one is set to be released sometime in 2020. The third one. Newcomers to the evening at the Crimes of Grindelwald include a Jude Law as a younger Dumbledore, Johnny Depp and Ezra Miller. What's the Flash in Justice League? So you're on a little crossing between the two universes here. So 
off, though, those are all real, too. Those are actually planted for an Adam Sandler comedy called You Don't Mess With the Sohan. Buildings themselves, I, or I hate to break it to you, yes, I hear in Hollywood, they are fake. They're not real on the inside, they're just far enough that you could decorate the storefronts of them, make it seem like they're real businesses, or, you know, just have people living around them. But I know we had some Friends fans, I believe, here today. Yeah. This, this is our New York Street, so we've had a lot of Friends shoot here. Take that little area over here, for instance. That is where Phoebe Buffay, she gives a friend of hers some money, and she gets a can of Coke from her on that little sidewalk. What's in that can of Coke? A thumb. A thumb, yes, a finger and a can of Coke. They have a lot of friends that shot around this area. This is even where Joey's girlfriend, Kathy, is going for a bit of a jog down this section, and Chandler Bing, my favorite of the friends, he has a crush on her, so he chases her all the way down this street, crashes through vendors and people, and he can only think to say, oh, just wanted to say hi at the end there. Here's a fun one, though, for y'all, for all my friends' fans. It was set in New York, but how much of friends actually filmed in New York? That is correct, yeah, despite 10 seasons of that show. Anytime you see footage, that's just B-roll. Main cast never went to New York. In fact, four friends, they only left the Warner Brothers lot a total of four times in that entire time period. Anyone maybe uh, think of some of those times just off the top of their heads? Especially Little trivia. Yes, they did go to London. They really did film there for Ross's wedding. It's actually when they went to Paramount Studios. Yes, that is when Joey and Chandler left Ross's kid, Finn, on the back of the bus. <laughs> and there was fine on Jean-Claude Van Damme for Marcel the Monkey's But again, we've just had so much film here. For my Batman fans, this is the streets of Gotham in both Batman and Robin, as well as Batman Forever. It's kind of where you had Mr. Freeze freeze part of the city, and you have Chris O'Donnell steal the Batmobile and take it for a little dry ride to this alley. It has a big fight scene of what I like to call the Neon Gang from that movie. It's got a lot of success. I've had a lot of film around us here, including a very funny scene from Big Bang Theory. I wanted to point that out for you, because do you recognize it? It's where there's certain, say, being pursued by a certain mob, led by a certain uh, Star Trek actor. Yeah, it's by William Sheldon stole the reels to... Raiders of the Lost, Lost Ark. And yes, the indeed. They use kind of that whole street for the theater over there yeah. to your right. In fact, I'm going to play just a little video for you. Street. Uh, shameless. Do we have any Shameless fans here today? We're, we're right next to Patsy's Pies, from that, as I mentioned. But yeah, this building on the left was kind of built as the L train setup from Chicago for ER. All this was actually just built on and added to the main building itself back when ER was built. And in that little building, particularly for my Batman fans, that's where one of Tim Burton's Batman movies built. That was the Gotham Hall of Records over there. So you had Danny DeVito as the penguin kind of going up those steps, trying to track down his family line. It's Batman, we're in a special Friendsgiving event. So if you do want to just take a picture as we're kind of just going by, you will see the Friends Fountain over there. You get kind of a nice, better view of that for everybody. Beyond the truck and everything. Hey, sorry, do you need it? But it was still that same mountain. And Prince did shoot actually several different scenes in this little section over here. You see this part we're facing right now? This is Central Park on Prince. So this is where Phoebe and Rachel, you know, they do a very arm wavy jog through this part here. And the other side was where Ross played a game of rugby over there. Red oh, Ross tried to press his British girlfriend game. Emily. So yeah, he tried to challenge some of her mates to a game of rugby. One of Warner Brothers' best movies there, certainly one of our most quotable. This is what you have, it's the Cafe Pierre straight ahead of us. That is the only remaining exterior set from Casablanca over there. So all that was shot on the inside of sound stages. And this is kind of the exterior for their apartments on Big Bang Theory. So yes, kind of effectively over to your right, that is Sheldon's and Leonard's apartment building. Anytime they kind of filmed outside over here, you know, Sheldon being chased by a pack of dogs because he has hot dogs in his pockets, that's what they would use for that. There's even kind of a nice reference to Casablanca in a more recent movie, La La Land.
show goes 10 seasons or more here on the lot, they get that official flag to kind of commemorate that 10 season mark. It's not for every show, it's just for the ones that reach that 10 seasons or more. Which does mean, of course, that Big Bang Theory got yes. one as well. Yes, we'll kind of stop by that too if you'd like a picture here. This is kind of Chuck Lorre's quarter over here in some ways. He's done Mike and Molly. And one he's actually currently home to Mom with Anna Ferris and Alice and Ginny over there. Now. Yeah, we just kind of stop by that one. And fun trivia for Big Bang Theory too. It reached 278 episodes for that series. Officially the longest running multi-sitcom in history there. You can even see kind of one of those bigger plaques. That's kind of like a best hits album of the soundstage, essentially. All of the most famous movies and TV shows that I've done work on there. And as you can see, The Connors is currently on there. It's been up on for a Series. We do have Conan O'Brien's Iron Throne. The real one actually is in Wales, Ireland, but this is kind of Conan O'Brien's personal seat over there. Iron Throne. And yes, Ernie Matrix. So we're done with our tour. Um, we're now in Central Perth. We've got our drinks. I got like a pure chocolate ice drink and Phil's got a chocolate mocha. Ice mocha. Oh, chocolate ice mocha. Um, and then the shop's next door. So I guess he's spending some money. I guess he's not going to be happy about it.
What were you just shocked at? Oh, I thought it was the fucking Nina bombs. So I've already pissed fell off because I picked up another spirit jersey. Tour, which I'll kind of talk about in a bit because I'm in a noisy place but we're now at Grand Central Market um, so when I come to get lunch this is somewhere Phil's going to want to come so let's get some food so we're back from Grand Central Market um, we were going to stay in downtown LA for a little while longer because there was a place called The Last Bookstore that I wanted to go to um, which is meant to be like the most Instagrammable bookshop in LA um, but I got in a hot sweat in that market, I was stressing, I needed a wee um, and uh, the Uber app won't work and my 4G won't work and I was freaking out that we weren't going to be able to get back um, to the hotel easily because there were no like obvious taxi rank so that's me stressed for the day um so we've come back to the room just to go to the loo and um, drop some stuff off and we are gonna head down to hollywood boulevard uh just to have a look at it again during the day because we move trying to tomorrow um i want to get a few more photos and hopefully we can find a target I know that there's a target there somewhere, but at the minute it's like a half an hour walk, which in all honesty, it's absolutely boiling today and I really can't be asked. But um it's a target, so I'll make the effort. Um Yeah, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna head back, change, and then probably go into Universal just for the last few hours of it being open because the tickets that we bought were buy a day, get a day free. So we just thought we might as well. Um so for lunch we went to like this Chinese place inside the market that was really good. I didn't really eat as much as what I probably would have done normally because it was just too hot. So hot. So um, we're probably going to have a later tea at Universal. Phil reckons he's just going to have a sandwich but I'm a fat pig and I'm probably going to go to Krusty Burger so... Um, but yeah. Oh and the Warner Brothers Studio tour was good. Phil wasn't as overly keen by it as I thought he would be. Um, but a lot of things have changed since since the last time that we went. Um, so it was really busy today. I don't know whether it's because it's Saturday or what. But when me and Heidi got to go last year, we were eight, they kept kind of stopping the carts, letting us get off at different areas of the outdoor sets. They took us into different places. This time we were pretty much, other than the odd few times, on the carts the entire time. So that wasn't as great. Um, but they have kind of remodelled certain areas, like everything was dressed for Christmas, which is really cool. So I still enjoyed it. I thought it was good, good few hours out. Um, obviously, I went into the shop. I only bought a spirit jersey this time. Uh, I did get one from there last year, but last year they only had navy and like this hideous pink colour, and this time they had a black one um, and loads of others. So anyone interested in spirit jerseys that are going, they've got quite a few there at the moment. Um, so yeah. That's all I have to say about it, So we've come back to the mall and I'm just popping in Hot Topic. Then we're going to head back to the hotel chain and then head to Universal just for a few hours. Done some shopping. Just got myself a bag t-shirt or a shirt. Um, so we're now heading just up some stairs just because it's a really good view of the Hollywood sign which we didn't realise from last time.
Right, we're back in Universal. The queues are absolutely horrific. Um, there's a lot of people leaving. There's also a hell of a lot of people still walking in. Um, at the minute, even the Mummy, the highest ride is Jurassic World, and that's 80 minutes. The Mummy's 75, so I don't think we're really getting on anything tonight. But we only really, we got this day free on our ticket, so it's more just have a wander and get some food, get another frozen butter beer before we leave. And uh, yeah, we've only got like three hours left of park opening, so see what we can In the meantime, if anyone has any muggle devices, makers find one since 382 BC. Now, I believe you are all here to witness a bond fitting, yes? Yes. yes? yes. Oh my. An especially unique one. For I am sensing a very, very powerful. Kamara, which arm is your one arm? Your right arm. Right. Hold it straight out for me, please. Get toes out. Now, as you may know, every Alvander's wand contains a core made of a powerful, magical substance. We use a unicorn hairs, phoenix tail feathers, and the heart strings of crap. No two Ollivander wands are the same. Just as no two unicorns, dragons, or phoenixes are quite the same, and we never get such good results with another wizard's wand. Come on, you're here for natural wand. Well, you might do Let's try. Please. It is a wand of birch, 15 inches long, flexible, swishy, unicorn hair cord. Shall we try as well? Something simple. Let me see. Perhaps, uh, oh yes. Do you see the ladder there against the wall? I'd like you to move it closer to the counter. Point your wand at the ladder and say the spell, Accio Ladder. <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa. Give it a try. understand that the best results come when there is the greatest affinity between wizard and
not so magically informed. Miss Wong tells me that you are kind and loving to all the creatures, a natural leader, and with a traveling heart spring forth. Your fierce loyalty to your friends and your family will be greatly admired by all who you. Just as the wizard learns from the wrong. Yes? Well, stay here just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for choosing Ollivanders. You are welcome to peruse our vast selection in the next room where perhaps your want is waiting to choose you. If you are here with Kamara, please. Right, so we've just done all of Anders. We're now race through to Journey of Hippogriff because it's gone down to a 15 minute wait. So we'll see if that actually helps. Now, follow your hands. Wow! <laughs> photos in my Zabby Dark Mark um, t-shirt which at the moment as I'm filming this is only available for this week so there's no point in talking to you about it properly. Um, yeah we had to go inside the shop because photos outside the castle were coming out really crap because of the, because of the darkness and we haven't got proper cameras so we're relying, yeah we're relying on our phones.
sovereigns at the three broomsticks. Need. How'd you feel? Happy. Oh, can you believe him? Absolute cheek. Anyone would have thought he is not a Harry Potter fan. Right, that is us done for Universal Studios Hollywood. Um, I just need to pick up my purchase from earlier, which I'm in trouble um, And then we're getting an Uber, go back to the hotel. I think we need to just organise our stuff a bit and get sorted because we are going to Anaheim tomorrow for Disney. I'm excited. So we're back at the hotel and we've finished Universal. So sad. Oh, this is my um, purchase. I'm in trouble. Um, which I will do a haul video on so I can show everyone properly. Um, but I love it. I am so excited. I've been waiting to get hold of this item in here for a long time. It's not sold in the UK anymore for now. Probably will be by the time I get home. So, but uh, yeah, we're getting some drinks and we're just gonna chill in the room. It's only nine o'clock. We ended up, the park closed at eight, but we ended up in the park until like half eight, I think. So we kind of made the most of that. Um, obviously I got Phil to take back the item photos of me before we left. And uh, yeah, we're getting ready for Disney tomorrow. We're gonna check out, head down to Anaheim, maybe go in the pool and the jacuzzi and stuff. For a... No, I'm all right, thanks. Um, yeah go in the pool and jacuzzi and stuff for a little while and then head into the parks because Disneyland's open till midnight because it's like bank holiday weekend so we have got a long day ahead but uh, yeah I'll check off here so um thanks for watching and if you like this vlog please give it a thumbs up and um I shall see you tomorrow for day four.